Be aware of the signal and tune out the noise. In multi-year buy zones, five significant Bitcoin price indications are found. Welcome to CryptoLink channel. If you love getting news and updates about cryptocurrency, join our community by subscribing to our channel. You can tap the bell icon to never miss our new videos. If you enjoy our channel, kindly like and share it with your friends. October 1, 2022. Cointelegraph posted a tweet stating, For key factors, continue to place pressure on BTC price, says at big underscore smoky one. The daily price behavior of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is quite disappointing for bulls, and there are currently little indications of a quick turnaround. The following current variables continue to put pressure on the price of Bitcoin, continuing the trend of the previous six or more months. Persistent worries about potentially stringent cryptocurrency regulation. Interest rate increases and quantitative tightening by the United States Federal Reserve. Ukraine, Russia, and the weaponization of natural resources in high demand that the European Union imports are all causes of geopolitical worry. The likelihood of United States worldwide recession has caused a strong risk-off mood. Together, these difficulties have reduced institutional investors' appetite in extreme volatility assets, and the enthusiasm of the 2021 bullish trend has mostly subsided. Daily price movement is therefore not promising, but longer-term indicators that measure investor sentiment, Bitcoin's price, and value opinions do provide some intriguing information. The market is currently teetering on oversold ground. The price of Bitcoin is bumping up against a long-term declining trendline on the weekly and daily timeframes. The Bollinger Bands, a straightforward momentum indicator that displays two standard deviations below and above a simple moving average, also were starting to tighten at this time. Before the bands and a directional move normally tighten, and trading price at long-term resistance is frequently a sign of a significant directional move. A fast peek at the Relative Strength Index or RSI, when compared to Bitcoin's longer-term price movement reveals that purchasing when the RSI is significantly oversold is a winning trading tactic. Between March 28 and June 13, Bitcoin had a sell-off that caused its RSI to reach an all-time low. A price-neutral analysis of Bitcoin and its industry structure would indicate that now is an ideal time to acquire, despite the catastrophic short-term scenario. Let's now compare the price movement of Bitcoin over a number of years to the RSI and see if any intriguing characteristics show themselves. The chart, in my opinion, speaks for itself. Of course, there is always potential for additional decline, and a number of technical and on-chain research indicators have not yet indicated a market bottom. A decline to the $15,000 to $10,000 region has been predicted by several experts, and it's likely that the purchase wall at $18,000 will be absorbed and become a bull trap. Aside from that incident, individuals who were willing to take a chance have had success by enlarging positions when the weekly RSI becomes oversold. The MACD oscillator, also known as moving average convergence divergence, is another fascinating measure to observe in the longer term. As Bitcoin's price fell to $17,600, the MACD, like the RSI, also got significantly oversold. However, even though the MACD, which is blue, has passed above the signal line, which is orange, we recognize that it is still lingering in unexplored territory. Given all of the macro issues that cryptocurrency is now facing, it shouldn't be extensively depended upon in this situation. However, the histogram has started to go up, which some traders see as an advanced trend reversal indicator. It's noteworthy to remark that the MACD and RSI are heading in the opposite direction from the price of Bitcoin, which is depicting lower lows and lower highs on the weekly chart. This indicates a bullish divergence. According to technical research, the confluence of several indicators points to an undervaluation of Bitcoin. Having said that, the market as a whole as well as the price of Bitcoin do not seem to have reached a bottom yet due to a variety of non-crypto related problems. Another 48% decline from Bitcoin's present worth of around $20,000 would result in a collapse below $10,000. Let's examine what the on-chain statistics is now displaying. The MVRVZ score. 
The MBRV Z-score presents as an on-chain indicator that depicts a comparison between Bitcoin's market capitalization as well as its realized capitalization, or the price individuals paid for the cryptocurrency in relation to its current worth. Co-creator David Puel claims that this measure emphasizes the oscillation between greed and fear by vividly displaying the price cycle's busts and peaks. Realized value is brilliant because it significantly calms the emotions of the people. Basically, the indicator hits the red region when Bitcoin's market price is significantly greater than its realized value, signaling a potential market peak. The market may be approaching a bottom when the measure crosses into the green zone, indicating that Bitcoin's present value is far below its realized value. The present 0.127 MVRV Z-score is within the same range as prior multi-year downtrend and cycle bottoms, according to the chart when measured against the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is undervalued and in an ideal range for constructing a long position, according to a comparison of the on-chain data with the previously mentioned technical analysis indicators once again. If you remember a few days ago, at the end of September. Although evidence shows that the US economy has seen negative growth for two straight quarters, politicians still debate whether the country is in a recession. Bitcoin price was at $19,000. The couple endured depressing statistics for the United States, with the second quarter's GDP growth projected at minus 0.6%. This indicated that, despite objections from the White House to the opposite, the US had negative growth in two consecutive quarters, which is the usual definition of a recession. Bitcoin USD was attempting to breach the $19,000 support level at the time of publication. Although the on-chain analytics site material indicators noted that the actual GDP figure of minus 0.6% was stronger than the anticipated minus 0.9%, there was little cause for celebration. Going back to October 1, 2022. The Reserve Risk The Reserve Risk Indicator is also another on-chain statistics point that provides intriguing data. The Hans Hoge made chart illustrates how assured Bitcoin investors are in relation to the current Bitcoin spot price. The risk to gain or attractiveness of Bitcoin relative to the risk of purchasing and keeping Bitcoin approaches the green zone whenever investor confidence is strong but the price of Bitcoin is down, as seen on the chart. Reserve risk shifts into the red zone when prices are high, however, investor confidence is poor or low. Data from the past suggests that creating a Bitcoin position whenever reserve risk reaches the green zone is a favorable moment to do it. Data from Look into Bitcoin and Glassnode indicate that reserve risk trading was outside the green zone as of September 30th and at its lowest possible level ever. That's it for our today's video. So, what can you say about the news? Let us know about it in the comments section down below. Thanks for tuning in to Cryptolink. We are always excited to provide you with news and updates about cryptocurrency and if you like this video, please click the like button. See you on the next one.